review of the stainless steel soil th thermometer by Smart Choice. Uh, so it has a five inch stem. Uh, the dial is one and a half inches. It reads from zero to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Now they advertise it for ground compost garden soil, but um, compost may be a bit of a stretch in the sense that the probe doesn't really go, I think, deep enough to give you a uh, reasonable reading of what's going on inside a deep pile of compost. This is what the listing looks like on Amazon.com. It arrived in a thin box with some bubble wrap around the dial. Here are some views of the thermometer from different angles. I compared the reading from the soil thermometer with the reading from several room thermometers and it um, uh, compared with them uh, exactly. They, they all gave 70 degree readings. My first use of this thermometer is to time the application of crabgrass preventer on my lawn and uh, I wanted to uh, apply it when uh, at one inch depth the average temperature of the soil is 55 degrees. It's important that this be timed accurately because if you put it on too soon then it will wear off uh, before the crabgrass season is over and you'll have to be fighting uh, emerging crabgrass uh, uh, in August and I didn't want to have to deal with that. Uh, if you put it on too late then the crabgrass e emerges before you even start and so it doesn't work as well. Here you can see it's March uh, 5th and the soil temperature is 40 degrees and it's way too cold to uh, apply the crabgrass preventer at this point in time. Then I got to thinking, how deep does the probe need to be in the ground to get an accurate reading? Or said differently, what part of the probe is actually reading the temperature? Is it just the very tip of it? Is it the entire shaft? Uh, so, to determine that, I uh, set this little experiment up where I put an aquarium thermometer inside a glass of water. I put some ice cubes in there to get it cold, stirred it up so that the water w temperature was even, and, uh, and then I marked at one inch intervals uh, different depths of insertion for the soil thermometer. And what I found was that if I inserted it one inch, then um, it was off by four degrees. But if I inserted it two inches, uh, the temperatures matched exactly. Uh, and uh, uh, I tried one and a half inches and that uh, didn't work either. So it needed to be inserted at least two inches to give an accurate reading. Here you can get a better view of the one inch interval markings that I placed on the uh, rod uh, using a um, uh, permanent marker. From this experiment I deduced that the um, lower two inches 
of the probe is the sensing portion of the thermometer. And in order to accurately measure the temperature at any given depth, uh, you would want to insert it uh, in the center of that area, which is one inch less than the tip. Uh, so, for example, if I want to sample it one inch, I have to put it in two inches so that the center of the two inch s sensing section of the probe is centered over the one inch or at the one inch depth. So using an insertion depth or desired insertion insertion depth of um, your target depth plus one inch, uh, I think you can get some accurate measurements with this thermometer. So uh, given that, uh, if it's used in that way, uh, I, I would recommend the thermometer.